Am I right on that? There are all kinds of prayer and the Bible is very clear as to the fact that not every kind of prayer produces power. There is a recommended kind of prayer and a pattern of prayer that produces power. Hallelujah. Two conditions according to James chapter 5 and verse 16 that must be captured in the prayer of the righteous to produce power. I want you to please listen now. There are two important components as revealed in chapter 16 of James 5 that if and when they are not captured in your prayer, your prayer cannot produce power. Number one, the Bible says the effectual fervent. I like to reverse it for the sake of our understanding. So number one, the Bible talks about fervency. That the prayer of the believer that produces power, power to influence, power to manipulate, power to establish according to divine order must be prayer that is fervent. What does it mean to be fervent? It means from the heart, it means with zeal, with passion, and with truthfulness. Are we together? Very important. Jeremiah 29 and verse 13. In the dealings of God with men, we learn from scripture and even from experience that God seems to respond to passion and sincerity and hunger. It seems to me like the spirit of God does not pay so much respect to laxity and carelessness. God wants to see intention and fire. Even in error, he respects the passion and corrects you. There is nowhere God sees passion that he ignores. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. I don't know whether what I'm doing is right or wrong, but I'm not going to let you go. If I may but touch the hem of his garment. Every time God sees passion, he interprets it as the person being serious, even if in ignorance. So the Bible says, the fervent, are we together? The fervent from the heart. Jeremiah 29, 13. He says, and you shall seek me and find me when ye shall search for me with all your heart. There is a level of seriousness and intention that must be invested in the prayer of the righteous if it is to produce power. Second Chronicles chapter 15, we'll read verse 12, then for time we'll jump, to, we'll jump to 15. Is God helping us already? The Bible says, and they, the nation of Judah, they entered into a covenant, watch this, to seek the Lord God of their fathers with all their heart and with all their soul. Notice now, all of them was plunged into that covenant. Verse 16. The Bible says, and all Judah rejoiced at the oath, for they had, okay, thank you. Give us verse 15. Just stop at verse 15. Did I give you? Yeah, 15 is fine. And all Judah rejoiced at the oath, for they had sworn with all their heart. And the Bible says they sought him with their whole desire. What was the result? He was found of them, and the Lord gave them rest round about. The Bible says the fervent. You want the kind of prayer that changes things, changes you, and through you influences your world? It is prayer that comes with fervency, zeal, passion, seriousness. There were people in the Bible God did not take serious, and the Bible was not quiet about it. It was clear that God did not have respect for them because there was no fervency and no passion invested in their commitment whether their relationship or their activity the first of such expressions as we see um, was in the life of Cain and Abel the nature of their investment in their sacrifices and the violation of patterns or the observance of patterns led one sacrifice to be accepted and the other God did not have respect for it hallelujah fervency zeal and passion the bible said this about jesus himself that the zeal of the lord's house had consumed him is that true yeah this is the reason why he frowns at lukewarmness in revelation chapter 2 he wrote to one of the churches i think to ephesus or thereabout or philadelphia one of them 
and he says i wish that thou art hot or at least cold if you are hot i commend you if you are cold i redeem you but now you are lukewarm you are you are in between every time god saw people who swung to one side of the pendulum if they needed deliverance they admitted it and they were delivered if they were vibrant and full of fire he would commend them but he always frowned at people who were nonchalant passive careless even about spiritual things someone say fervent one more time say fervent that when believers pray it is important for them to have this understanding that they are not praying to an idol and all of them must be invested in that prayer number two this is the part that i want us to look closely to because in in truthful submission especially within the continent of africa i think we've done a good job in the area of fervency in prayer the average african prays with zeal with passion or at least a semblance of it am i right on that <laughs> now the second word that must be captured in our prayer to produce power is called effectual effectual let me your attention this is my message what does it mean to be effectual effectual means to use or to engage in a way that avoids loss or waste of time and energy listen carefully effectual by definition means to use or to engage in a way that avoids loss l o -double s or waste of time and energy so you are effectual to the degree to which you are efficient and there is minimal loss of energy of time and resources am i right on that the bible says the kind of prayer that produces power in the spirit is prayer that is number one fervent your heart condition your zeal your passion but number two it says it must be effectual most believers i observed here they pray fervent sincere heartfelt prayers but very few believers pray effectual prayers remember we're going to pray what then makes prayers effectual it's important for us to understand at what point do you know that your prayer is effectual is it by the sound of your voice is it by the motions that follow the prayer as well intentioned as they are let me show you from scripture are you ready what makes prayers effectual listen is the degree to which the will of god is captured in that prayer you have to understand this what makes prayer effectual is not the sincerity of the one praying alone the degree to which the will of god is captured in that prayer operation is what makes prayer effectual so the bible says the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous if it is truly effectual and if it is truly fervent the bible says it produces power are we learning now so what makes prayer effectual i repeat is the degree to which the will of god is captured in that prayer the word compliancy of your prayer is what makes it powerful not just the spirituality of the activity of prayer the degree to which you are praying the will of god is where the guarantee for answer and power lies in 